what I need is a chance. What I need is a chance. Hey, 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 just rock out. Chances will show to help everybody be victorious in everything you do. Chance we envision it to grow and we're going to provide jobs for people and really change the world. This is a great opportunity to be a great influence to show kindness, caring for one another, and I think that's what society really needs right now. First of all, what you, what you guys are doing is absolutely immaculate, and I am just so grateful that there's people like you that still exist in this world. Change the world, and I think that's what society really needs right now. What you guys are doing is absolutely immaculate, and I am just so grateful that there's people like you that still exist in this world. Change the world, change the world. Second chance, change the world. Second chance, change the world. All right, we back again. Second Chance Radio, everyone. We have a host here. We're doing great things. And, and we have a very special guest today. But before we introduce him, we're going to introduce our host uh, for today's show. And uh, it's Veronica Flores. Hi. How are y'all doing today? Amy Faith. Hello, everybody. And my other my other part of my rib my <laughs> wife is oh, Tiffany oh. Newtall I thought you were going to say other wife oh, 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 oh. And, and Lauren Lunch couldn't be here today because she was sick but at the same time we have somebody to fill in Cedric Legacy what's up everybody y'all know what it is Legacy City Carol V and we second chance ready yo yeah, yeah. Yep. that's right <laughs> so everyone we were excited today we, we, we talking about some great things today you know um First of all and foremost, you know, we like to thank God for uh, bringing us all together at, at this uh, situation at, at this time to even have a radio show like this, so we, even a, a TV show to help others be victorious and stuff like that. I always say I like to give a shout out to people. I like to give a shout out to my, my film production crew, Gus, you know, and his wife. Uh, my wife always said her name Kristen. right. Kristen. you know, <laughs> Kristen, you know, they okay. are bored and they're doing great things for Second Chance Radio and Second Chance TV show. You know, we have uh, James Lockhart here, you know, he's on the wheels of steel, kind of doing some things that I don't know about the radio, but I'm here as the host. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, we all here, you know, and uh, how how you how y'all been doing today? What's going on with y'all? How y'all what's going on? How how y'all been doing? I've been I've been doing great. My daughter, my oldest, just moved into her new place yesterday, so kind of a chaotic, a chaotic weekend. Nice. Very emotional. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of what my. Well, at least you can doing. have your alone time. Not really. I got, I'm, I've got a seven year old. I'm starting all over again. Oh. Okay. Oh, well. well, at least one is gone. Yeah. <laughs> and except one, and one is gone. But that's okay. Because now you know you still they go to sleep early though. <laughs> What's up, Black? see you in the house today. What's up, man? What's going on with you? Cooling, man. Cooling. Just uh, being blessed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, enjoying um, being a part of Second Chance, the radio and uh, TV show. Been a journey. Learning a lot. So I'm blessed. Yeah, Legacy, you know, I heard that some things, you know, happened to you back in your past and stuff like that, man. And, you know, people just think that people just join Second Chance just to join it. Uh, maybe because they're saying, okay, he's going to be a part of something or maybe in a network or be on TV. But I know you, you, you joined Second Chance because things happened in your life. You was once homeless and stuff like that. Yeah, and things happened to you. So, you know, that's why you joined because you, you want to be a part of the movement that happened yeah, in your yeah. life in the past. You know, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm glad you're here with us and I'm grateful for you and as well as Gus and uh, his wife to be here uh, with Second Chance Organization today. Yeah, definitely, for sure. So, I mean, it's not uh, a bandwagon thing with me. It's actually going through that. You know what I mean? Right, you can't, right. you can't uh, like for instance, I wouldn't follow Jesus if you don't know what temptation is. Right, if you can't right. tell me what temptation is, I probably wouldn't follow you. Right, or faith. So, since I've been through some things, since right. I've been through some things, I'm, you know, Right. Hope I can lead some people as well. You know what I mean? Oh, you will. You will. Yeah. You will. You know. And then we have my wife here, Tiffany. You know, she been through some things too. She yeah. got on, you know, bandwagon with me a long time ago. You know, and and then Veronica and Amy Faith. Everybody been through, through some through things. A lot James, of things. James yeah. Everybody <laughs> been through some things today. We've you know. Uh, but chance. God is here. God is willing to show us and provide for us. You know. But uh, you know, far further ado, you know, we we have a a, a great artist that. Um, uh, I, I promoted before down in, uh, in uh, Hollywood, California. Uh, he used to be a, with the group called Troop, and he's still with Troop at some point in time. They do some some uh, concerts and stuff like that. But uh, he have a solo album out that he want to talk to us about. Uh, he's one of the lead singers, uh, John John, from the group Troop. And uh, he's here with us today. And we're going to talk to John John today about what's going on with him and uh, how Second Chance Organization happened also with his life and how uh, things happened uh, he got second chances and he's a great guy man you know uh people don't know uh 
people unless they sit there and talk with him and do things with him. And uh, me and John John, we you know when I first met him, we we was became great friends. You know, we we, we hung around together, we went to funerals together, and you know uh, I did a red carpet event with him and, and put him on do his lead sing, uh, songs uh, for the for for his uh, uh, singles. And he was one of the great persons I ever met, man. And it's like you just we became like brothers, you know. Uh, so I want to continue to promote his songs, continue to promote this individual. Uh, he's a great guy, man. I think everybody should know who, who John John is, and he's going to be with us. Uh, but we're going to be playing his song uh, right now, and his first song is going to be Never, Never Too, Too much. much from John John from the group Troop. Here we go. We back, we back, San Antonio, Second Chance Radio Show, and we have John John from the group Troop on the phone. John John, how you doing today, John John? Hey, my man, how you doing, man? Oh, Mr. Hey, we doing great, man, we doing great. Like, you know, um, man, I love you, man. I love your music. I love the things, you know, you guys represented back in the time with Troop. And uh, with you just being one of the lead singers there, man, I, I, I like was honoring you and stuff, man, back in the days when we had troop jackets and stuff like that, and we was break dancing, doing the thing, you know. But I never knew that I would I will meet a, a wonderful guy like you, man, and a legend, you know, as far as what you do and stuff like that. And, you know, like you on the radio show now, man, people people love you, man, now here in San Antonio, Texas, man. And um, we have uh, also some hosts that, you know, they want to talk to you and, you uh, kind of speak up on some things you know like that so we have uh, Veronica Flores in the house Amy Faith uh, of course you know Tiffany Newton my wife and Legacy uh, he's one of our, our film crew people but he's uh, filling in for one of our hosts that wasn't here uh, Lauren uh, so hey man uh, what's what's up man what's with you in 2019 man tell the people oh man first of all thank you man thank you for having me thank you for, for what you were saying earlier and thank you for uh, about Everything that I represent, how you know, how it all came to be, to be, be a part of the group and everything, and, and everything will be represented to the past. And we thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Um, and a hello to everybody. How are you guys doing? Uh, um, let's see, for 2019, for starters, uh, I just got back from Philadelphia from doing a play called Barbershop. And so um, that's actually like my my second, uh, I guess I would call it, um, like second love for, for entertainment as far as like, you know, acting and everything. Um, I'm beginning in the beginning stages of doing some acting now. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I was in the play last year out here in LA, called 39 and a half, just rolled down, and we can really go back into uh, mirror sources of that. We have a few uh, shows. February 23rd and 24th at the Miracle Theater in um, Inglewood, California. Um, and it's, it's the gospel play, gospel stage play, musical, comedy, the whole nine yards. And, and it's a lot of fun, man. So that's been like my, you know, like my second love that I'm doing right now, man. And then, of course, I'm still with the fellas, the guys. You know, we're still doing dates here and there. We're still taking dates. And, uh, we actually, we have a date tomorrow uh, for Martin Luther King Day um, in Los Angeles at Lamarck Park, uh, 4030 Crenshaw. So we'll be there. We'll, 
we have to get there around like 3 o'clock. So for those that are listening, so we'll be performing tomorrow at LaMarca Park in Los Angeles, California, on the 43rd and Craig Show. And this is the whole group truth, right? Okay. Correct. Hey, man, you know if I was there, you give me tickets and let me on the door all the time, don't you? <laughs> he, well, come on, man. You know that's right. Yeah, you always do, man. You, you know, we, you might like my brother from another mother, you know. Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, <laughs> you know, um, again, man, like I said, they love you here, man. We got some people that want to ask you some questions and stuff like that about your know, success and what you had going on and stuff. So I give them the floor, let them take over. I've been taking over too much. Like they say, I talk too much. I back a lot, too, as well. I talk a lot and I back a lot. So I'm going to let them take over. <laughs> and let John those things going on. <laughs> this is Tiffany. How are you? Um, I have a question for you. So, um, when what inspired you? How did you get started with singing? How did you know you had a voice and a talent, and when you wanted to pursue it? So, how did it all start? Yeah, how did it all start? Yeah, how did you find your voice, or when did you? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it actually happened, you know, the ages between three and six is when I began to start singing. At that age of six, I started singing with my family, oh, okay. and um, as you know, just to sing with my family, with my brother and two sisters, and my mom and would sing together as a family at church all the time, and we traveled to many churches here in the city of Pasadena, Los Angeles, and when you name it, um, we did a lot of church traveling and singing at a, at a whole lot of churches as a family, so that's kind of basically where it all started. Oh, okay. Yeah, for my family, we're Filipino, so we had the karaoke machine. We didn't go to church. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's true. I got... <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Hey, John, John, this is Amy Faye. First, I want to say your voice, oh my God. Oh, I know. I, I love it. Very sexy. <laughs> you like both. Okay, um, okay, let's focus here. <laughs> uh, okay, my question. Um, uh, musical influences, who, who were yours and... Um, and, and why? What, how did it move you? Okay, what's that again? Your musical influences, like the influencers uh, for you musically, uh, who who are they and, and what for? What was it that moved you? Well, it's, 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 quite, it's quite a plenty. I mean, um, I try to work on um, aspects of where my voice carries. Mm -hmm. So when I, you know, when I work on you know, for settle stuff. I do a lot of listening to like, you know, like Elder Barge and stuff from Earth, Wind, and Fire, you know, um, Bill Daly, you know, stuff like that, uh, okay. to, you know, to be able to work on my falsetto and strip and that. So I was listening to those guys, and then, you know, my other uh, influence would be people, of course, I know the band house down here at the way, uh, Johnny Gill, Barry White, that's the case. Those are like my, you know, my, you know, my, my, my inspirations as far as vocally, and then on the performance, performance side, you know, everything what Michael did, along with his brothers, right. Jackson. So, right. I, I would, I would, I would say those are like my biggest, biggest influences. I, you know, this is Veronica Flores. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm yes, um, you know, on your video, Mama Sita, I love the choreography and the dancing, and it reminded me a lot of the Jacksons and their moves. Y'all looked wonderful, but that's not my question. Oh. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you that, because I love that video. I love it, and I love how y'all dance in it. But um, not too many people know that Troop is an acronym for Total Respect of Other People. Who came up with that, and what was your inspiration behind the name? Well, um, we were actually sitting in, I believe, in, in Louisiana uh, at a restaurant with one of our representatives from the company from Atlantic. His name was Henry Jefferson. And it was him that actually said that we need to, instead of just being a name and who we are, we need to stand for something. So it was, it was kind of like, Alan kind of came up with that, you know, the total respect of other people, and we kind of said, like, wow, that's just, that's what it is, you know, so yeah, let's just go ahead and go with that. Oh, wow. Okay. 
and John John man I'm back I'm back on the set you know I like to talk a lot but again again I back a lot no <laughs> but listen <laughs> listen John John listen man you know we had some great times man down in, in, in Pasadena or in LA California wherever we was at red carpet who was my right hand man at the red carpets Huh? The right, your the right hand man all the time on red carpet. I used to take you all the time, man. I remember oh, yeah. when when uh, real and uh, real and um, and uh, real passed away. Uh, real and chance of love, and we went to his funeral. Yeah. Real, uh, yeah. uh, you know, our first exit get together, and after that, we we just start just hanging around together, man. And I started doing radio stations with you and stuff like that. With Ola Ray, actually, we had her on last week, uh, last Sunday. Uh, it, ju it just, like I said, it's just an honor, man, just to be talking to you and stuff. Like I said, when I was a kid, well, I mentioned this to you before, I grew up, not like I'm a, a pass out or nothing, because when I saw you in person, it wasn't you and all that. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I just want to thank you, you know, again, man. I know we did things for each other. I did things for you. Uh, I, I did that big uh, second chance red carpet. Uh, with Miguel New Year as a host, yeah. and you know, we brought Johnny Gill, Randy Gill's brother in, uh, and Jada from the Bad Girls Club, and all the rest of the yeah. group. And uh, I put that show on, man, and then from there, you know, we just, we just big, been big in Hollywood, California. Everybody loved that second chance. And that took me a long way as far as what I'm doing right now in San Antonio, Texas. And I, I like for you to come down uh, one day to be a co host or something like that, or even uh, do some clubs, you know, that people might want you in and stuff like that. You know, we mentioned that before, and uh, bring troop or just by yourself and, and, and try to, you know, uh, rekindle our friendship. I know I've been gone for a long time, but me and my wife, I got married, as you know. And so now it's been, you know, when you get married, and, you, and you know, when you get married, you, you hide, and you ain't, it's a wrap. You know, and once you get married, it's a done deal. You don't see no, you don't see him. What Paul at, man? Where he at? He changed the number. Dee -dee -dee. We sorry. You must be some number that they get connected or no longer in service. Hey, did you call that number one day and it said that, though? Tell the truth. I, I, I called that number one day, and it was just like another voice came on and said, Paul don't have his number no more. <laughs> 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 and so I call you like, man, well, you what's your number, bro, boy? What's going on with you, you know? And at that point in time, like, let me, you got to get back together. But I didn't meet you guys for nothing from the nail. And I remember I took That's you right. to to the white party we had with Jermaine Dupree and uh, and, and, and Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, I, I, I introduced you to Jermaine. Well, you knew Jermaine already in Bow Wow. Uh, I don't know if you guys collaborated as you was growing up, but at the same time, y'all met again at, at my white party I had. And, uh, you know, and Jermaine's going to be on too on the show uh, as well. But at the same time, man, you know, I like your song. You got another song called Girlfriend, and um, we're about to put that on, man, and let people hear it. And uh, don't hang up, John John. We'll be right back with John John from the Groove Troop. But here's this song called Girlfriend, you listen to San Antonio, number yeah. one, what? Second Chance Radio. This would be so powerful, amazing. If you give it half the chance, you find out I could be. and you've tuned in to Second Chance Radio. All right, we're back with uh, Second Chance Radio. Listen to Second Chance Radio. Go to KR. OVFM.com. K R O V F M dot com and listen to Second Chance Radio. We hear back with John John from Group True. What's up, John and John? <laughs> hey John John, check this out. I know you I, I know I know you know about songs and how good good is about, but check this out. Spread my wings Don't do that. and fly <laughs> away to a place that I love. 
You got courage for that one. Like, what do you courage. think about that, man? Ain't that good? <laughs> Tell the people I can do it, man. Tell them. He said, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him not to give up his day job. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man. And, and uh, we have James Lockhart here. He want to ask you a couple of questions, uh, John John. Here he is. John John, just want to stop and ask this. You know, you're doing it, man. You're sweeping through the cities, going from state to state. But let me just stop and ask, because people don't know. What are you doing in the community to help the community? that's something that's good to know because people think ooh you know some artists are stuck up some artists but hey but what they don't know is there are people like you that will take out time to say hey I'm real keeping it real and live I'm just hanging out with the group yeah John John you're, you're, you're a great guy man like I said a lot of people don't know like you know Bobby Brown you know and stuff like that and uh, we both know him and people, you know, not to speak up on him like that, but he's a great guy. I'm just going to put it that way, and I'm going to cut it that way. That way, if I have him on, I let him talk on his own <laughs> on the next time we have him on the segment. But, you know, a lot of people don't know a lot of artists until they really know them, you know. They don't know the things they've been through. They don't know the things they uh, they went through as being coming up to be a celebrity or a singer or an actor or whatnot. But as I went through this whole uh, segment with the Hollywood deal, I started to learn a lot of things as far as what happen to people lives and how uh, the entertainment world work and a lot of times it ain't all that but the times you got to be careful of what you do and how you do it and when you do it and I know you've been through a lot a lot as well now with the Me Too movement going on and stuff like that everybody's trying to be strong and, and try to get things done but they don't know you know what's really going on in the entertainment world you know question for you. This is Veronica Flores. I was going to ask you, you know, now that we're older and we're wiser and we have more experience, what would what advice would you give to your younger self back then? 
what would you do? What would you say to your younger John John? I would, um, I would, I would you know, just, just, you know, just to tell myself to just to stay humble, mm -hmm. um, stay open to be able to, you know, actually do what God has called you to do. Yes. I mean, be receptive. Yeah. Yes. Um, when love, we're younger, we forget people. that. We forget that. Um, I mean, it, it's fine. It's just every autograph that people want to ask you for. I mm. mean, you never Fans know are important. whose life you changed. Mm. Yeah. Yes, and absolutely. you never know what the, the good thing that you've done for a person just by doing that and taking a picture with them. Who you touched, um, right? You don't know how you touched their lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's living your life and being a good example being so humble. others, you know. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. John, John, man, it's been a, a pleasure having you on our radio station. You know, um, it's been a pleasure me meeting you in the first place to have you on my radio station. You know, uh, it also has been an honor uh, as well because I always tell people that is celebrities, they are celebrities, they are just people like every individual. But at the same time, every person in the world are celebrities because they got things they have got going on. They just don't know how to reach out or get it done. And that's what the Second Chance organization is about, John John. And I'm a, I, like I said, I kept the Second Chance going, and I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much, man, for being on our radio show, man. Thank, thank you, John John. Hey, I, I love you to death, man. You know that, man. You got my number, and uh, I'll be calling you maybe next week sometime or stuff like that. And uh, we, we're going to bring you down here, man. We're going we're gonna to make it happen down here in San Antonio. We're gonna rock the socks off of them. Yeah. We're gonna show them what second chance is all about. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank God bless you, John John. Nope. Okay. okay, everybody, that was John John from the group Troop. And uh we closing out today. We closing out today. Second and chance. here second is chance commercial. Second Chance Commercial by Soul Live. And one thing I gotta say before we leave, Second Chance is, is where, where it's at. at. And you heard yes, it. Sir. Well, we ain't practice, sir. Hi, this is Tiffany Newtall, and you're tuning in to Second Chance Radio. Life is full of bumps in the road, and we are all human. Most often, people face challenges alone, with no help of any kind, feeling isolated and lost in society. Our Second Chance TV show intends to help all individuals who need help changing their lives around. From helping those in need of organ donations, homelessness, those in need of jobs, and any other life crisis situation. Please contact us today if you or someone you know is in need of a second chance. Second chance to change the world. Hold a need a second chance. 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 That's the success that you know that it's real. If everybody could just gotta pay bills, see for the crime and the mountains and hells. Both obstacles that we gotta face, jail. Let the negativity no run into the rail. Deep for the dreams that the people try to kill. See for the choice and the chance is the drill. Every opportunity to want you to fail. H for the haters, new time we here. A for the effect the people know what they guess. F for the nation, the people in the tears. See for the chance when it took to get here. E for evolution and the mind of my past. O's the objective, second chance we have. All of the problems that the putting in your air. G with the generation change. With the tribe tribulation. Let me be your motivation. I am the voice of the people. Revolutionary kids so live. It's just my second chance. We are generation change. All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance. What? All I need is a second chance. Ay. All I need is a second chance.
chance, rock, but I need a second chance, ay, 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 just rock out. Second chance is a show to help everybody be victorious in everything you do. Second chance, we envision it to grow, and we're going to provide jobs for people and really change the world. This is a great opportunity to be a great influence, to show kindness, caring for one another, and I think that's what society really needs right now. First of all, what you, what you guys are doing is absolutely immaculate, and I am just so grateful that there's people like you that still exist in this world. Change the world, and I think that's what society really needs right now. What you, what you guys are doing is absolutely immaculate, and I am just so grateful that there's people like you that still exist in this world. Change the world. Change the world. Second chance to change the world. Second chance to change the world.